Well, you wouldn't you know it. I succumbed to peer pressure and cleaned off my bench. And now the one thing I'm looking for I can't find. Well, it's not real clean, but I cleaned it enough to lose the one item. Okay, I had a, a question and somebody asked about, you know, everybody complains about the double action on a Nagant and it really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, the one thing you have to remember, okay, I don't know if you can see it, but when the hammer comes back, that block goes up to force that block forward. You know, which is what pushes the cylinder forward. And there really isn't that much spring pressure on that cylinder. The important thing, when you take, you know, first thing I did when I got this, or one of the very first things, was to take it apart and, and lube all of the pivot points. And that particular part there that slides, because anytime you have you know, one metal sliding flat against another metal, uh, the, you're just, there's friction. There's, and it doesn't take much friction there to really screw up your double action. You know, it just doesn't take much at all. What I use is the thing I can't find. This gun slick, which is actually a, it's a graphite based, almost like a grease. Uh, very similar to Never Seize, you know, and it, they still make it. It doesn't come in this anymore. Yeah, it says anhydrous collodial graphite. But Gun Slick still makes it, but now it comes in a little plastic tube. But I used to buy, you know, if you remember those outers, red tin boxes for cleaning, you know, that had rods and all that crap in it. Nothing in there was worth anything, but usually when I find them in thrift stores, the gun oil was used out of them, but the gun slick had never even been opened, you know, so I grabbed them their little lead tube, you know, about the size of a super glue. That's really good stuff, uh, especially in that kind of a situation, you know, but I've got it on every little pivot. You know, it works better than an oil. It stays in there. You know, and like I say, it doesn't take much friction to make that double action hard. But that works very well. Another place I use it, you know, I heard somebody, <laughs> I saw in a comment somebody talking about and Mose and Bolt. And, you know, it's really, I tell you, I get a little disturbed with some of them comments. But, you know, because like somebody was saying in one comment I read that, you know, his, his firing pin was backing out of adjustment. Shoot it a couple times, you would back out. He said, there's nothing to hold it. Well, yeah, there is. You know, that firing pin goes in there and that's offset. You know, you can't, you can't back off like that. You know, and, and you certainly ain't backing this part off, not without a hell of a lot of pressure on it. So that was just nonsense, but, you know, YouTube is full of nonsense. But another place I use that is on this particular spot in here. You see, it's got a cam up on that, the bolt does. Now, that's a, oil doesn't really want to stay in there, but that graphite stuff stays. That's a good use for it. You know, but now i got to... Like I say, I can't find my, I found a box, but I can't find the tube. So, peer pressure has done me in. Used to be right here. It was always right here. But I'll dig around some more and find it. Because I like to keep that on that side. Because really, the double action isn't that bad on the gaunt as long as everything is lubricated properly. But like I say, you know, YouTube is full of misconceptions. <laughs> like, I'd love to... I, 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 I love and hate to go into the whole bayonet question, you know, but I, I've done that over and over again, and uh, it really does, you know, that's where it, sometimes it gets frustrating because you really don't make any progress on some of this stuff. 
you can put out information left and right and somebody's going to just throw out some misinformation again. It's like a game that's being played and, and I just get tired of that. But I thought it was funny. I happened to, to read, you know, Google had bought up that that company, artificial intelligence company called DeepMind, which I think is, you know, kind of a play on the deep thought from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the computer that was going to give you the answer to everything. But what I thought was, was humorous as hell, that they, in order to put information into this computer, they're, they're using YouTube videos. And I thought, oh my God, you know, there, there's so much misinformation out there. And here you're trying to, to program this thing with YouTube videos. You know, I expect this thing... You know, we'll have the false self-confidence of a 13-year-old and won't be able to spell. You know, it just it seems like a poor place to go for, for information, for your deep thought. Somebody had asked, you know, the, in one of the comment on the last video, he said, I know you won't see this, but, you know, but I do see, you know, uh, I see the comments, but what I see can change. You know, it's part of YouTube's new new thing. You know, like somebody will put a comment up on a video and it'll be there for a little while and then it will disappear to re be replaced by a different one. I only see like five comments. It's funny because it screwed up for a while. I was seeing all the comments and the conversations made sense, you know, and this was great. But it was too good to last. Now I'm back to the where they show me like five comments. And sometimes it doesn't make any sense because they're part of a conversation. I didn't, you know, I'm only seeing one side of it, you know, so it doesn't. But that's YouTube and their algorithms, and I just wait till this deep mind gets working on these algorithms, and we'll really have it. Maybe that's where all these, when you get these dislikes on your videos, that's maybe deep mind helping you out. But I just bear from humanity if we're going to be. <laughs> watching YouTube videos. But anyway, I do see the comments. Most of them. You know, but they come and go, like I say. Uh, because YouTube has decided to rank your comments. And if your comment, you comment, and then the log comes one that they feel is more important, and then goodbye to yours. It gets shuffled into the background. But I do see them when I go back later because I go and clean house every so often, which is something I should do today, see what the battery state is. Because uh, I normally don't go online, I just use the, the phone. But if I go online, I can see all of the comments and I go through them before I do the house cleaning, you know, because then I'll go back and remove all the comments and all the likes and dislikes just because um, I can't keep track of what goes on back there um, in the background you know I figure the life of the video is like two days you know and so after that I've moved on to something else so if somebody makes a comment back there I don't know about it you know I, I can't keep going back there it's like trying to herd cats trying to keep track of all these so I just go back and clean house every once in a while and then I'll look and if there's some comments I'll deal with it you know, I, that's where I write down notes, you know, somebody wants to know this or that. But I do see the comments. I just can't do anything about them unless I do them in a video. But I think I'll, I'll do the house cleaning today because I think I haven't been back there for about a month, so God only knows what's back there. You know, and, uh, what disturbs me sometimes is to see people get into heated arguments in the background. You know, it's kind of funny how people will argue about stupid things, and a lot of times it has even no, it's not relevant to the video at all. It has nothing to do with the video. I mean, it's it's people's personalities clashing, you know, and they will go at her. You know, and that's where you start getting these likes and, dis you know, the dislikes that come on other people's videos. You know, it's... It's never anything to do with a video, or very, very seldom. I mean, once in a while I do see, see some that, that have well-earned dislikes, 
but most of the time it's just a clash of personalities you know they really should do away with that dislike thing it, it serves no real purpose but I know the one time after a short while back here Shirley Temple <laughs> had died and Shirley Temple was, you know, the child actress, the, you know, America's sweetheart. And I watched the movie Heidi, because I had seen this in elementary school. We had, like, movie night, like once a week. We'd, we'd get these movies from some library someplace and in this little school I was in, and they'd show, we showed Heidi. So I thought just for the hell of it, I looked back, and it was interesting to see because of the some of the old buildings and stuff, you know, um, interesting to see. But I was surprised to see that Heidi had a bunch of dislikes. No, you know, I, I don't know how you can, <laughs> how you can do that, how you can uh, put a dislike on Heidi. I don't know what you were expecting. You know, it, it was what it was. You know, it certainly didn't deserve dislikes. You know, I, I was no big fan of Shirley Temple. Uh, later, she became an ambassador to, like, Ghana or some someplace in Africa. And I was surprised at what time I happened to see this little video where she was ambassador there. Uh, and Shirley Temple Black was her name at that time. But then she, she had been to this small African village. And this village was really impressed. They had built this, this new outhouse. And so they wanted her... To, to to run the the first inaugural visit to the to the new outhouse, and my God, I was impressed that she you know she was willing to to go in their outhouse, and they were just happy as hell. So I thought that was funny. But speaking of Africa, that whole area in Africa now, big outbreak uh, Ebola, bad bad news. So I always thought if anything's going to take humanity down, it's Ebola, and it's raising hell again. So that's something to look forward to. I think I'll stay home more often. You know, because it used to be a uh, plague someplace didn't bother other places, but now with, you know, people going all over the world, eh, Ebola can travel. 